Donald Trump embodies a relentless pursuit of triumph, driven by an unyielding practical approach. Think of this. First time in U.S. history that a presidential candidate of a rival party will address the convention of a party that is presumably gathering to nominate its own candidate. Now I think you should nominate me or at least vote for me and we should win together. You heard those words. Nominate me or vote. Vote for me because the libertarians want to vote for me and most of them will. And it's very important because we have to get rid of the worst president in history and together we will. And without it, there's a risk that we could have four more years. We won't have a country left. So what is the purpose of the Libertarian Party getting 3%? What is the reason to take a chance of having this horrible president destroy our country, which he will do in far less than four years? It's not going to take four years. That is why I'm committing to you tonight that I will put a Libertarian in my cabinet and also Libertarians in senior posts. Pretty good. That's pretty big. Or you can keep going the way you have for the last long decades and get your 3% and meet again and get another 3%. No, you want to make yourself winners. It's time to be winners. You have a lot of common sense. It's time to be a winner. What's the point of getting your 3% every four years? It's time to win. This question cuts through the noise, revealing a mindset laser focused on tangible success over ideological purity. It's a call to value effectiveness and wield influence in the political arena. Donald Trump's appeal to libertarians to unite against Joe Biden is seen as a strategic move to consolidate power by aligning forces with shared goals. His proposal to appoint libertarians to senior administration posts is a bold demonstration of his commitment to inclusive leadership, showcasing his willingness to embrace professionalism from diverse backgrounds. The buzz surrounding Donald Trump's speech hints at a potential political upheaval. In a landscape where his appeals to liberals are growing more polarizing, there's a clear trend towards seeking new alliances and coalitions. Trump's promise to appoint liberals to key positions is a calculated effort to garner support, tapping into voters' deep-seated desires for recognition, influence, and active participation in the political process. This move not only solidifies his image as a decisive leader, but also as someone who values a broad spectrum of professional expertise.